Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it is great to have you here today. We're going to have Tiffany in a glass. Now, I don't know if Tiffany tastes good in a glass, but hey, let's try it out. Now, having said that, I found this cocktail on Instagram on the Drinks for All page, and the ingredients and the color looked interesting, so I wanted to try it out with you here on camera. So this is a shaken cocktail. So grab yourself your shaking glass, and then grab yourself a lime. And what we'll do is we will cut this in half and squeeze three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters into the glass. The second ingredient that we're going to use today is gin. Now I'm using Roku gin. It's a fantastic Japanese gin with subtle and full flavor. And we're going to use a total of one ounce or 30 mils. The third ingredient that we're going to use now is apricot brandy. You need the brandy, but you also need that apricot flavor. Now I'm using bowls, it's 24% ABV, so it has a lower alcohol by volume, but it does have that sweet apricot notes and it's really quite good. And we're going to use the same amount of one ounce or 30 milliliters. The next ingredient that we're going to use today is pineapple juice. Now, ideally, if you have something that has no sugar added, absolutely fantastic. All I can get is some Del Monte. Use what you can get. Just remember, if you're in a store and you're picking up something that's like this, look for something that doesn't have any sugar added. So we're going to use a total of one ounce or 30 milliliters. Our next step is to add some blue to this cocktail. Now, blue is my favorite color when it comes to cocktails. Always has been, always will. But this is not going to be a pure blue. It's going to be more of a green color. And for that, we're using a little bit of Bowles Blue Curacao. It's 21% ABV, which is a little higher than the McGinnis brand that I would normally use. However, get what you can get. Now, I'm going to use a quarter of an ounce, which works out to about seven and a half mils. Now that we've added all of our spirits, our mixers, our liqueurs, all that fantastic stuff, we're gonna put a good whack of ice into the glass and we're gonna shake it for a good 10 to 15 seconds just to make sure we get the dilution and chill that we need. But you wanna make sure that your glass is full of ice. Grab your tin, throw that in there. Smack it on. <laughs> make sure you got a good seal, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes and pineapples and all that sort of good stuff. Grab yourself your glass of choice. In this case, I'm gonna put it in a coupe glass, but you can do whatever you want because it's your cocktail. Now, just make sure that you fine strain it to keep out any uh, pulp or chunks of ice. And that looks absolutely gorgeous. So throw that off to the side. If you have a piece of dried apricot, throw it on there, maybe an orange peel, totally up to you. Who cares? Just give it a try. So immediately I actually get a little bit of apricot and a little bit of pineapple. Mmm, that is good. You've got the gin, but you get the lime juice with the pineapple, with faint hints of the apricot. You're actually surprised that you really don't get a lot of apricot. This is really, really nice. If you like this style of drink, take a look right here.